Pops Mulder. I'm a federal agent who time forgot, a windbreaker overmodulating. My work demands I live where I live. I live in background noise, and the list goes on, etc. The last known photo of me presents no special problem, though under lock and key, not everything is a dark conspiracy. If I meet you in a warehouse, the temperature must be 50 degrees Fahrenheit or less, so as to appear 16 millimeter. We can't maintain this adversity without dominant color. There can, be, there can be no blue daylight on stilts. A dark tone yields a dark tone. Our sunset should be as muted as my apartment, an indeterminate white lettering on my ceiling, a space odyssey cinerama, a light tone and then another abduction, another set piece from Moby's play. My eyes are twitching an orange polarizing filter. They appear as participants, a reinforced fiber fading in the crowd. I carry a flashlight under my clothes, a wireless microphone for low background noise. And now we have to move on, start a new family, a new place to call home. This warehouse has blown up a thousand hues, an easy salary and submission, the one-horse UFO industrial salvage clubhouse. Don't get me wrong, you're not going to meet your soulmate here, but there's a certain sense of prosody to be proud of, and we're currently relying on intuition and pheromones for guidance. <laughs> the Cenobites. I am a goddamn butterball Cenobite. My repulsive glamour is a piano riff with anti-club posters wheat pasted all over the TL. I am a super butcher, as in a franchise with no overt reference. My attributes are Roland 303 and leather garments gushing blood. We all have horrific mutilations manifested in the tools we carry. As devoted followers, more than 20,000 attended this weekend. This is the Western concept for former humans. Just a, just a rotating lozenge with patterns of Lemmikan's box on its panels until the crowd responds favorably. For many decades, this diamond was a card suit until Club Burned Up became a lithograph able to summon chains from nearby shadows. I was made with a pneumatic eye that can impale targets and so forth. That smiley yellow face, that vapid anonymous smile exhibits an amoral personality levitating above its butchery. While we were listening to this music, we thought of exposing areas of flesh where some kind of torture has or is occurring. All the unlicensed clubs turned on the scene. This was an extremely painful point of sensory overload. The Lone Gunman. Hubba hubba in the West, but it's his magical powers that keeps that magazine in circulation. From Simon Magus to Moses to Logos, a judge with his own store. But it's where we hide out. And just as Scully was named after a baseball announcer, the gunmen are named after an Air Force base, a punk rock band, and JFK. The history of hell in a series spin-off. And that little crybaby CC was anything but a duelist, dropping the hammer on message boards, swearing to kill off anybody not tuned into this Friday night menage. Until Mulder was tasked to chat with these ghosts, asking stupidly, where does lightning come from, and by what will does it strike the tower? In this theogony, TLG might be the bride, but your ideas are even weirder than the myriad scientific inaccuracies of the sci-fi series Earth 2. El Lobo appears to live a normal life, and his motto, as above, so below, might trick a satellite dish into bouncing back his, in back his image. But don't be fooled by these childish scraps. He is the magician incarnate, asking for assistance. California Dreamin' for Andrew Knauer. It would cost more to drive to L.A. anyway. There's a futon in your kitchen. You bought me a 32 ounce and it's in your kitchen. They're called Congress Created Dust Bowl, right? And they're kind of like the Delta, right? And they're playing the Greek theater tonight, right? The deceased live in Oakland because when your lead singer lives in SoCal, you'll drive so much you'd, be ne you'd become an aqueduct. Sometimes I see trucks with NorCal decals, but everyone from here knows that no one ever said NorCal. That's a SoCal thing. Like only Tupac or New Yorkers say Cali. And I remember reading Thrasher, that Ted rant about Toyota bros slapping skate stickers on their bumpers, slime balls, psycho eyes, and per wheelander skulls. But maybe these weren't stickers, just baggy hoodies or cherry beaches. The top of the food chain is shotgunning water south of Fresno just to spite the south. And gnarly actually just means seriously. Mosswood Park. Let me quickly seek the tracks if you can bind the bow and sleep it all off and take the train to Constantine. I promise that we will find our way wherever we can. It is better to avenge if you can 
Better to slip your way down the street than chew your house to pieces. And as you know, moths have flown into people's ears throughout history, bearing the bloody cabinets you open when moving anywhere you thought you'd never be. But it's only now that we have the means to remove them. In the depths this day, we're naming our children after our saints who are our fathers and mothers, but only with patience along the peninsula when ears are technology. And this all becomes rope thin. Figs are flowers, and your good name will live on long after the weird patience bears our bloody wax men following their ears, which are shapely and extended towards the neighborhoods, moving in and about this proximity of family as nowhere else seems to settle the stomach as much as organs identifying themselves at first impression. Feruza Balk, American Girl. Everything is a douchebag now. Echo Park is my Shelley Duvall. I'm surrounded by apple bottoms pissing all over these bushes. It's a new sunny day, but everyone is always moving to Oakland. A whole economy has grown out of this house movement. Gone are the days of one San Francisco sound, when all my friends are sapping Alizé, Nickel, and Dime in their, dirty, in their dirty East Bay cottages. The proverbial last drink is just a white label Nux Vomica. If you take that informal survey, we'll have to sit through that body moving B-side again. And this is a point the commercial ignores. The narrator has no credibility. He is a website pop-locking pop Egyptians. Your liver and stomach will be speaking to you as an internal affair. And when it comes down to it, no one knows how to, no one knows how to define anything anymore. We're walking that tightrope of taste. I'm a trendoid poser, and all my friends are pushing Mongo. Super Bowl XL III. Did my first meth and close read the end for eight hours. All the squares in the living room want to be hung by thick twine. Around the borders is a fireball. From the hand or a whale of a bus, in blue drips cut off at the corner of the wall, those hips sang, having a nice time, wish you were here. To look a bit three, more three-dimensional as you climb through the front door, carrying the best fried chicken from Divisadero, complete with a dance routine to battle the Super, time, ha Super Bowl halftime show. And everybody else knows it's stagnant at the corners, but I can't seem to find the right place to hang these portraits. All the space in the living room is white space, and I'm playing I Spy with my little eye, a blue key and teapot, and an American hero on horseback with sapier drawn shouting, Pro-Patriot. But never mind that Castlevania three cartridge hanging above the transom. That's just decoration from my childhood, and this is an important day, and all my friends are rooting for the same team. Thanks.